What's up, what's up, y'all, and welcome back to Cigar Lifestyles and Reviews with your host with the most, Enoch the Cigar Emperor. And today on this beautiful day down south in Georgia, I have with me the beautiful Jaime Garcia Reserva Especial. Um, <clears throat> those of you who are familiar with Jaime Garcia, if you've never had one, he was a son of the great... Um, Don Pepin Garcia, who basically y'all familiar with my father's cigars. Uh, I have all of the my father's. I like. I actually love the my father brand. Uh, <clears throat> the different my father cigars, which are great. I don't know if I have a favorite one. Um, maybe the Judge. I don't know. Uh, but the um, the Le Bajuge 1922. I love that. I love a lot of the my fathers. I've smoked them all. Uh, but the Jaime Garcia. The Jaime Garcia, like I said, was named after his son. Um, and this was a line, and it's like packed with tobacco. You can see the little light tooth in this man. It's it's, it's a hard, well put together, uh, stogie cigar. Beautiful, just beautiful. Not that long, like five and a half inches, I believe. It's a robusto, uh, Vitola. Um, just a beautiful cigar, man. Um, so those who have never smoked the, and some people say Jamie, but it's not Jamie Garcia. It's Jaime, Jaime. You know, Spanish, so the J is particularly silenced. So it's Jaime Garcia, the reserve as special. Um, so I'm just finna get into it, man. Um, put the V cut on it, as I always put the V cuts. Basically, I love the V cut, especially on my rounded ends. Anyway, I don't necessarily put the V cut on my torpedo ends, but definitely on my rounded robustos or perios or whatever. Hope the camera's not too far out. So, like I say, man, I'm not gonna waste my time. It's a beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day for me <coughs> to smoke a cigar. I don't really care what day it is. So, on the cold draw, I'm getting good cocoa vibes, good cocoa flavor. And coffee beans. I almost kind of reminded me on the cold draw of Padron. This is a beautiful cigar. Glad I have a few left. Wow, the cold draw is so good. I don't even want to light it. That's sad. But of course I got to light it. So, let's get to it, y'all. Off the rip, on that first draw, I got a lot of pepper notes and cocoa, more cocoa. Cocoa, little coffee, still getting the pepper and like some cherry oak, like a cherry oak flavor. That's what I'm getting right now. The My Father brand has always been a top brand to me. And it's another thing about the uh, about Don Pepin, Don Jose uh, Pepin Garcia. He's also Cuban, came from a Cuban family, learned the Cuban way of, of, of doing tobacco and cigars. And he was just one of those other families that I always stress that uh, if he did, would have just did it right, man. All of the greatest cigars would still be in Cuba. And that would be no debate today about who's the best Nicaraguan, Dominican, Cuba. That would be no debate about it. If all of those major families would have stayed in Cuba or could have stayed in Cuba, it would have been no debate. Placencia, uh, Padron, Arturo Fuente, my father, the Pepin de Garcias, wouldn't have been uh, Monte Cristo. Man, this is a great cigar. 
I'm still getting a lot of pepper in the first third. Now, I can't remember. I haven't smoked this cigar in a while, even though I have like 11 or 12 left in my uh, humidor. I haven't smoked one in maybe a couple of years. So this has been sitting for a while. Uh, but I don't know if I'm getting this mix. And it's a good mix, man. It's a good mix of pepper, chocolate, and cherry oak all at the same time. Hit my mouth together. That's pretty damn good. Look at the burn so far, you see? I like that. I don't know if this is going to continue in the second, third, or it's going to get better. If it get any better, oh man. So I'll see y'all in the second, third. This is great. Ash just fell off. I'm in the second, third now. And uh, <clears throat> the pepper that I told y'all I was getting in the uh, first third, it's kind of died down a little bit. But I'm still getting that nice cherry oak <coughs> wood. Definitely still getting the cocoa. And I'm getting a type of, like a like some cereal, like, like some Captain Crunch, honestly, cornflake type flavor. Good cigar, man. The draw is beautiful. The draw is lovely. Um, perfect draw, man. Perfect burn, as you can see, man. I'm about to take this label off in a minute. Add it to my collection. I probably have over. I even have. I have people trying to actually buy a lot of my uh, my bands. I mean, <clears throat> I have probably about. I have probably about two thousand bands. My plan was to actually. I know something like, like a lot of people, a couple of my brothers, uh, even my blood brother, they like to decorate tables or coffee tables with their labels, with their bands. <clears throat> Me, my plan was I have a inside walk-in humidor in my basement, and I actually wanted to decorate the whole wall with it. I think I have enough to do that and enough to probably give away. I'm not going to sell any of my bands. I, I'll give them away. I love this lifestyle and other people love it. Everything don't have to be for money, though. That's right now, man. This Jaime Garcia Reserve X Special is very special. Um, it's in a, I was in a, uh, I can't remember exactly where. It was in, somewhere in Atlanta, though, a while ago. Maybe last year sometime. Maybe the year before. Um... And we were having a discussion about the Jaime Garcia versus the other My Fathers. And they were saying which one they like, what they like. Some people, of course, a lot of people like the 1922 My Father. A lot of people like the Judge. A lot of people like a lot of different things because they have palettes. They have their own different palettes. But um, me personally, uh, I actually like out of the, <laughs> the My Fathers, the Jaime Garcia is my favorite. And uh, compared to all the other My Fathers, I do love the Judge. I do love the Judge. But this Reserve Especial Robusto, I like above all to my father's. And I actually have them all. But that's also another thing I tell people. A cigar that I liked over another cigar some years ago changed next time I smoke it. But, oh, damn, I forgot. I, 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 might, I might get different flavor notes this time. And it might just outdo those other cigars. I tell people that all the time. Same thing I talk about when they talk about magazines like Cigar Aficionado and their ratings. Those are different people every year, blind uh, testers who come and do their cigar reviews. There are a lot of uh, <laughs> there are a lot of fake news on the internet where people think that uh, people buy their ads and stuff like that. Uh, but that's not true. Uh, for a magazine like Cigar Aficionado to be around since 1992, they got a particular uh, reputation to live up to. And believe me, if that was a lie, if they actually just gave people spots because of the ads they buy in the magazine, which is straight ludicrous for anybody to believe that's, anybody to believe that's actually in the cigar world or know anything about the cigar industry, you will understand that that would be a falsehood because they wouldn't take the chance to ruin their uh, reputation. Not only that, just by human nature, and everyone should know this, by human nature alone, disgruntled employees from either 
the cigar brands who don't get a spot would know this because everybody in the cigar industry knows everybody. Even disgruntled employees of cigar fishing out of themselves would have said something by now. So I don't get mad about because my favorite cigar is not on their list. That's not even my favorite cigar magazine, by the way. Cigar Journal is my favorite. I think Cigar Journal is the best cigar magazine to get. If y'all not familiar with Cigar Journal. Uh, but you know, like everybody got their own little ideas and palettes and spots. Like even Half Wheel do one. You got other other different cigar uh, magazines do they have their own list. Different people have their own list. I respect people's list. It's okay. But just because my favorite cigar is not in the top 10, the top 15, or even the top 25, I'm still not going to point my finger and say, oh, they got they got they got slighted because other companies paid for spots. No, we don't do that in cigar. We don't do that in cigar lifestyle. We keep it professional, people. Just like I'm going to keep it professional on this cigar here. This is a beautiful cigar. I wonder can I just move the bands kind of tight? Oh no, I can move it. And be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to. Even if you're almost through with the cigar, you don't want to hurt the wrapper or tear the wrapper at all. So that's kind of tight. So I might just have to peel that off. I think that's what I'll do. And of course, I'm going to keep it. Beautiful band. Let me go see. So. Hmm. Second third is lovely. Like I say, the pepper kind of mild. Don't. This is a medium body cigar, by the way. Uh, but it got full body type flavors, though. I have to give them props on that. But I'll see y'all in the last third. Back in the last third of this <clears throat> lovely Jaime Garcia Reserve Special. Um, a little a little of the spices come back. Not real strong spice, but it's good. Pepper, mostly, eh, mostly like white pepper now. Uh, <clears throat> ash is burning perfectly. I've already removed the band, as y'all seen the... Uh, second third um on the retro hill i did do the retro hill in the second third uh, and uh in the retro hill i got more pepper but it was a good it was a good like note and on the retro hill i got a little sweetness too with the pepper it was like a perfect mix man i guess like putting banana peppers and jalapenos on a nice tuna sub with sweet relish and mayo So the retro hair was good. Uh, still getting the cocoa through the whole cigar. Light cocoa now. Uh, and still getting that cherry oak. A little bit of cherry oak. This has always been a high rated cigar to me anyway. Uh, a lot of ratings. <clears throat> Give it at least a 90, 91-ish. I give it a 92. It's a great cigar. Give it a little purge. I purged it on the first third too as well. Um, but now that I'm in my last third, I do a little more purging. Because I want to finish the whole cigar. Just another tip for some of you that maybe just started smoking cigars a few years or whatever, a few months. You usually want to purge your cigar and just purging your cigar is basically just blowing through it lightly. You're just keeping the fire from burning in your mouth when you get especially down. If you want to smoke something to the nub, if it has a good taste. If I'm enjoying the cigar all the way through from the first to the second, third to the third, third, I'm usually going to purge it all the way through because I want to finish it. If it's just not a good cigar, then I'm not going to finish the last third anyway. Like I always say, man, it doesn't matter about how much money you spend on a cigar. It matters about how the cigar tastes to you. Uh, cause, cause <clears throat> I'm here to tell you, I've been smoking over 30 years, and uh, there are a lot of top brand cigars, and I can't emphasize this enough. 
Uh, there are a lot of top cigars that just don't smoke. I'm talking about twenty, thirty dollar, forty dollar cigars. They just don't smoke better than your average two, three dollar cigars. That's just the truth of the matter. Some companies just have names and they put out certain cigars and they put their price on it because of the name of that company or whatever, name of that brand. But that don't make the cigar good because it costs a lot. <coughs> uh, <coughs> I usually buy my cigars by the box, either box of 10 or box of 20. And I've had these for a long time. Uh, so I can't really remember the MSRP for a single Jaime Garcia. It might be a little over ten dollars, but this is a great cigar. I can't really remember. I can't even remember what I paid for the box. But I hope y'all enjoyed this review. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell button so you can see my other reviews. Um, I got a request also from one of my subscribers to do a video on. <clears throat> how to season your humidors. So I'm gonna do a video on that and hopefully that'll give y'all a good <clears throat> a good tutorial on how to season your humidors because it's very important. I mean, if you got the 50 or 60 count, any, any humidor, it doesn't really matter. You wanna always season your humidor uh, the right way. So I'm gonna do a video on that. But like I said, man, if y'all haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll catch y'all on this, the next review. I am Enoch the Cigar Emperor, and I'm out, man. And make sure y'all keep it smoky. Peace out.